it was definitely a beautiful oh, day today. Say, and that game, is, that game is so addicting. Yeah, <laughs> You start playing, you don't stop. All right, let's go ahead and look outside as we need to say this. I put beautiful for Santa Barbara. And, and again, whenever I say that, I always say, isn't that rather redundant? And there it is, just an absolutely stellar day. Uh, cloud cover today was really minimal. I woke up to absolute sunshine, thought maybe we'd see some patchy fog, but Mother Nature decided to give us just an absolutely, uh, again, just a beautiful day across the entire region. We, we definitely saw some increases in temperatures and uh, even a little surprise around Santa Maria. You actually got up uh, into the low 80s today, which is uh, wasn't really expected. We thought maybe mid to upper 70s and you decided to pop over the top of the 80 degree mark. So Ventura 74, you were one of the cooler beaches. Uh, Goleta, same thing there. Santa Barbara was about the low 80s. Uh, inland toward, the, of course, the coastline it was a little cooler. And uh, there it is, Santa Maria, 81 degrees. San Luis Obispo, 85. Pismo Beach, 79. Lost the sea breeze just enough to give you some uh, real warmth and that is definitely uh, indicative of almost like what looks like a fall like pattern. We saw the storm yesterday roll through the region bringing snow to northern California. Now we're on the back side so we get some northerly flow flowing uh, energy and look you sort of lose the westerly component maybe take away Morro Bay right there. I'll block it out and everybody else is seeing really balmy uh, really nice weather. This is almost again looking like maybe a late September type of pattern where you get the storm quick little burst of north wind and then maybe even a Santa Ana which is exactly what we're sort of expecting the next couple of days. Wind again is very much um, a concern whenever we, we get this time of year we're so dry out there we want to be very careful. It looks like we're okay now. Humidity values with that northerly flow look how they've all taken a hit here. They're kind of recovering here and there so the marine layer is not completely out of the game. Monsoon well off to our east and south and the storm system yesterday is kind of falling apart which brought the snow to Northern California. Uh, as that continues to roll out of the region, high pressure will fill in. So a northerly flow develops. That makes the marine there kind of have to do a quick little retreat. We expect it to be fairly uh, quick. In other words, um, maybe a day or two where we see a thinning marine there. By Tuesday, though, we expect it to come back. Maybe even tomorrow we'll see a little here and there. But overall, it's very quiet. And speaking of quiet, the Atlantic really gone to sleep with the hurricanes. There is Hector following right, literally right on the heel of Gilma, which is really interesting to see him just following one after another. Usually we see him kind of taking their own little paths, but looks like uh, Hector wants to do uh, whatever Gilma is doing. Now we'll go ahead and look into the middle of the Pacific, which of course is not necessarily our zone, but that's the big island of Hawaii right there. And of course your other uh, trailing off toward Kauai right there. And uh, luckily kind of missed everybody right here. It was a pretty powerful storm at a category one. A lot of rain hitting, I know, in Hawaii. So if you are traveling there, might be a bit uh, wet for the next day or two. Now back to our forecast and the wind overnight tonight could get up above the 30 mile an hour range and that's what happened last night. So we did have a low end wind advisory that really helped uh, that northerly flow definitely put the lid on the marine there. Now watch what happens tomorrow morning. We see minimal coverage again. A lot of tens popping up at 7 a.m. That means we're not seeing a whole lot of fog, but then watch what happens when we flip the switch toward um, Tuesday. We see a bit more activity with the marine there coming back for the central coast and it looks like maybe even down around the Oxnard Plain toward maybe uh, Point Magoo, Port Wainimi, seeing uh, the possibility of maybe just a bit more fog. All right, warming up over the next couple of days. Watch the temperatures for Monday and this is our little trend maker here. Not necessarily what we're expecting as far as the actual numbers, but it gives you an idea of what the flow of um, the temperature uh, pattern will be and it definitely goes from Monday to Tuesday. We see some very close getting to and near some triple digits. All right, let's go ahead now and look at the south coast and we do expect to see 70s, maybe some low 80s as we head north and west of Point Conception. Same story for the coastal plains. If the sea breeze decides to be uh, a bit MIA like it was today and just kind of a really nice, nice day, we might get some, uh, maybe have to add a few degrees to some of our coastal uh, highs that we're expecting. Otherwise, a lot of 70s out there and then inland areas back into the 80s and probably at least some low 90s are expected. Surf is getting rather quiet. It should pick up a bit toward the middle, maybe the second half of the work week out of the south, but not much as expected. And there's your forecasted highs and it looks really nice. Again, a little warming through the maybe middle of the week and then we bring it back down as we head toward next weekend. Uh, nobody going real warm, so that's good news. No heat advisories and no wind advisories right now, but we'll keep an eye on it all night long. We'll be right back.